Hello and welcome to another episode of Mind of Steel. This is the show where we delve deeply, so deep that our arms are bemired and besmirched with whatever filth we find. We delve deeply into the mind of one man. His name is Mark Steele. And why? Why do we do this, you ask? Well, it's a strange place, and we hope to retrieve from our endeavours weird nuggets of wisdom, strange forms of enlightenment that I share with you here on YouTube. I'm a kind man, and I do this for you. Why? Because I love all of you. So let's go for another adventure with our friend Mark Steele. Today he's picketing with 14 of his friends, and possibly one more operating a camera, outside the office of Guy Opperman MP, and he's the parliamentary representative for the district of Hexham. That's in the northeast of England, not far from where Mark Steele lives. Mark is going to protest this MP for all sorts of important reasons, as we're no doubt about to find out. We're here today to expose criminality of a monumental, monumental uh, exposure. I wonder if the reason why Mark seems so tongue-tied at the beginning of his speech is that he's realised that he's brought his merry gang of protesters to an otherwise deserted industrial estate. This is what it looks like on Google Maps. Guy Opperman MP's constituency office is in that building. I, I checked on his website. That's actually where he handles his constituency correspondence. But it's just an office for, for local constituency relations. He's probably not in there. By the looks of things, nobody is in there. Everybody seems so confused. It, it all seems so utterly, utterly pointless. I don't even know why I'm sharing this stuff with you. This is pathetic. Do you know, I've got a much better idea. Why don't we forget all about Mark Steele this week and let's go and check on Sabrina. She is, after all, a real expert. The people that for the last year and a half I've been bitching at going, how do you guys not know? And why aren't you telling other people what the COVID really is? It's a cyber physical backbone. Do you remember when Mark Steele used to say interesting things like that? COVID is a cyber physical backbone. I don't even know what a cyber physical backbone is, but Sabrina's already got my attention. So while Sabrina is weaving complex spells of imagination and science fiction to a rapt audience. Mark Steele is probably preaching to absolutely nobody at a deserted overcast trading estate in Hexham. The contrast couldn't be more different. So, Sabrina, cyber physical backbone, what's that? What's telepathy? What's the aura? You have no idea. And you're focused on what? Routing radio frequency through the human body. You're not going to believe this, but moments before making this video, I was focused on routing radio frequency through the human body. How do you know these things, Sabrina? Are you in my mind? Or are you in my biofield? I get up here in front of people and I go, show me your biofield. And they go, ah, that's impossible. No. Ah, that's impossible. Oh, and I said, no, it's a body part, sorry. And then I stand up and I'm like, make your hair stand on end. It's called piloerection. It's the sympathetic nervous system. Apologies for calling it parasympathetic. That's different, that's digestion. Okay, come on hair, you can do it. You can do it. Well, come on. Let's see it. Let me move my arms around. Nothing happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. One, roll your shoulders forward if you've been sitting. Two, and if I put some effort into it, shield. Shield. That's your biofield. It doesn't actually seem to be working for me, but um, maybe the biofield doesn't exist. Fire. 150 years ago, Aleister Crowley and people, yeah, nothing's real except what you can see. There is no biofield. There's no cymatics. There's no radionics. There's no plasmonics. 
there's nothing except what you can see. Well, that's a body part that's responsible for 80% of our immune system. How do we know for sure? The definition of children's hospital, the organs and tissues that comprise the immune system, the thymus, the bone marrow, the lymphatic, your vessels, your spleen, and your skin. And so I'm like, yeah, the human biofield being watched by Project Salus. So It's at times like this that I have to watch and re-watch what Sabrina says. What was that about? A children's hospital and Project Salus? And none of this stuff makes any sense to me anymore. I, I'm still trying to make my hair stand up on end and failing. Hold on, one more time. Shield! For those of you in radio frequency yet again that don't understand that we're playing around with the particulate in the atmosphere and perturbating the human biofield with the Doppler. Radio frequency, industrial, scientific, and medical band. This is where we got our 2.4 terahertz from. And that's your targeted individuals in Havana syndrome as well. Two radio frequency sinks. Went over the heart, went over the bladder, illegal as fuck, putting RFID chips in people since the 60s. So first you see a UFO, they radiate your body part known as the biofield. Then you start getting psychic abilities. They're called psionics. Nobody knows any of that. You're not allowed to talk about any of that. So instead you're told you're a fucking nut job, take drugs, or else you can't talk to anybody who's normal. The Christians will scare the shit out of you, call you evil. The people that want to wear robes, bleed on the floor, and do stupid shit with the CIA, thinking that they're surfing the astral plane, they end up on the Cisco backplane. The Cisco backplane, is that the same thing as the cyber physical backbone, which also happens to be the COVID? And what's that about developing psionic abilities? Is that something that will just happen to me? Or does that only happen to certain very special people that nobody seems to understand, like Sabrina Wallace? But it's demonstrated by the questions I keep getting. They're like, what are you talking about? Well, guys, when you get rid of our wireless body part and you tell everybody nothing exists except what they can see, you get rid of frequency, oscillation, cymatics, the power of sound optics, radionics, and anything plasma derivative. Good fucking job. Because Everything that is going wrong in the world is because we have collectively got rid of everything that is plasma derivative, including radionics, psionics, and optics. It's all gone. Thank you, Sabrina. Thank you for opening our third eyes to this cosmic, mystical truth in the way that only you could possibly explain. And I've been trying to figure out why it is there's my phone, that nobody else seems to know these things, okay? Yes, I wonder that too. Why is it that nobody in the world seems to know the same things that Sabrina does? That's one of those ineffable mysteries that we shall never truly know the answer to. Oh, I just remembered. We left Mark Steele at a trading estate in Hexham. Shall we see how he's getting on? Misconduct in public office to commit genocide, which is currently ongoing. Thousands of people dying and covered up by these murderous parasites. Thanks, everybody. Wow, that really was pathetic. That was one of the most embarrassing things I've ever seen Mark do. And I've been watching him very carefully for over three years. We just saw an obese man shouting to himself in a deserted trading estate in Hexham. Completely, utterly pointless. We didn't get anything out of that, Mark. Compare yourself to the glittering, shimmering jewel that is Sabrina Wallace with her many mystical insights about chakras and the intersection between the world of the mysterious, the numinous, the brilliant, and the world of computer technology. She truly is a guru for the next millennium. You know what, I'm thinking of changing the name of this show. We don't wanna know about Mark Steele anymore. He's completely lost the plot. Let's, let's focus on some new talent in the world of conspiracy grifting. People who are bringing new life into the new age conspiracism movement. I'm sorry, Mark. Your time has passed. So, who knows what I'll be doing in a week's time for the next episode of Mind of Steel. I certainly don't. See you in a week.